Hi everyone, Mike here, KMRD Radio Stuff. Thanks for stopping by. I got a question for you. Do you live in an HOA that restricts you from putting up an antenna? Perhaps you just have a small garden and you want to get on all the bands, but you just don't have the room for it. Maybe you live in an apartment and straight up can't put an antenna up, but you maybe want to do some front porch portable. Well, I've got something to show you. The new My Go To Antenna from TN07 Engineering. Let's check this thing out. So take a look at this. This is the antenna right here. This thing is so small, compact, portable, 17 foot whip. This is my garden. This is my side yard. I don't have anything. I can't put a vertical with radials out or anything. It's just got two copper pipes. You pound into the ground. You got another radiating wire. This is not a counterpoise. It's above the ground. Super stealth. You can set it up. If you just want to play a little bit of radio, it does 80 meters through 6 meters. No tuner needed. It is amazing. I have a terrible noise floor at my house, so we're going to hop over to Huntsville State Park and I'm going to show you how to set this up. We're going to look at the SWR, we're going to get on the air, we're going to try out some bands, and uh, we're going to take a look at this antenna, so stay tuned. Now real quick before we hop over to the park, I just want to talk about one thing that really separates this antenna from the rest in terms of it being stealth. One, it's just obviously very small. This transformer is actually totally potted in epoxy resin, so totally waterproof, totally fine to, to leave outside forever. Obviously, you want to seal up your coax. But uh, yeah, the, the cool thing about this, if you want to just pop this transformer off real quick, it comes with this little plastic disc and a little bit of some uh, industrial strength adhesive. Now this is designed to go in the bottom of a bird feeder or something. So this just slides over the copper pipe. And I mean, here is a dead rose next to me. I could just have a bird feeder right here and no one, none of the Karens would be any of the wiser. So that is a very, very clever uh, trick. So all you HOA guys, this uh, might be something you wanna look into. So this is how the antenna comes. It comes with this nice carrying bag, some nice Velcro straps to keep it all secure and it just rolls out and you've got literally everything you need other than your radio and your battery in this bag. So we've got two big ginormous ground rods like these are solid thick heavy hunks of metal so we pound those into the ground with this uh, little slammer device. It's got some nice reflector tape so if you're out in the dark and you drop this you can shine a flashlight and uh, see it again, find it. We've got a 17 foot telescopic whip. Comes with 50 feet of some really nice RG58 from the Wireman. This is some really nice coax. Here's the actual transformer itself with uh, a ground strap. This actually clamps to the ground rod and the antenna kind of just sits on there. It's kind of a really unique design. There's a bit of wire here. This is not a counterpoise wire. This is actually part of the antenna. So the whip connects here, and then this wire connects to this bit here. So it's actually kind of set up like an L, and uh, that's it. It's, it's very, very simple. So let's pound this into the ground. I'll show you how easy this is to set up, and then we'll throw it on the analyzer. So all we gotta do is pound these grout rods into the ground with our smasher here. You don't have to go too far. A few inches, six, eight inches is enough. Next, we're gonna take our matching device and it's got these two eye rings on it. So we just slide it over the ground rod and then we use this grounding clip here and just clamp it to the rod and it just sits on top of it just like that. Next, we're gonna screw in our telescopic whip. And I'll go ahead and raise it up now, cause why not? Next, we're gonna attach this other wire to this lug here. We just unscrew this. There's a washer on here, so make sure you don't lose that. Then we're gonna walk out the wire, pound in the other ground rod, and connect it. Now, we wanna have this wire pretty tight it's actually going to stay above the ground, so when you're measuring this, you want to really kind of pull it towards you. And uh, I'm going to pound it just a little farther than uh, where it's sitting here so I can make sure that it's nice and taut. 
just like that. And then we connect this clamp, eh, just about an inch or so from the top there, and we are done. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like on the analyzer. Here's 80 meters. Sweep this real quick. Perfect. Let's go to 40. Perfect. Let's go to 30. Where is 30? Somewhere around here. Here's 20. Whole band. There's 17 meters. And 15 meters. There's 12 meters. And 10 meters. And let's see what we get of uh, six meters. Let's see if we can hunt some uh, activators there. There's quite a few people spotted on 20. Sounds good. Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta Park to Park. Oh my goodness, this is, a, <laughs> is this what I think it is? You're, if it is, you're a 5.9 into the Everglades today, sir. Roger the 5.9 in the Everglades. Yeah, just trying out a new antenna here in the park. Uh, I am in park Kilo 3019. Kilo 3019. Uh, just making a video on the new uh, TN07, my go-to antenna. Oh, right on, man. That makes me very happy. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you watching, buddy, and I appreciate you being out there. Thanks for the park to park, and have fun out there, brother. All right. The antenna's looking great. Awesome having a park to park with you. 73, <laughs> have fun. 73, Kate, MRD. Park to park, Kilo, Delta 2, Uniform Bravo, Juliet, and Park K, 2001. Roger, Kilo, Delta 2, Uniform, Bravo, Juliet, copy the 2001. Got you about a 5151 into Kilo 3019. Roger, 3019. I got you at about a 43 of 43. I have another operator, number two operator coming up. Whiskey 2, Sierra, Uniform, Zulu in Park K2001. Roger, Whiskey 2, Sierra, Uniform, Zulu in 2001. Got you a 5151 into Kilo 3019. Kilo 3019. <laughs> Making a video right now. We'll see you. Thanks for the contact. <laughs> QRZ, Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta Parks on the air. W4, QRD. Whoa. There's a call sign you don't hear every day. W4, GRD. It's my dad. How are you? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's good to hear you on the air, man. I finally found you. Yeah, you're coming in about a 5.5 five here. Uh, bands are a little quiet today, but uh, you're making it in. You sound great. Yeah, I don't recognize your voice on the air. You sound totally different than you do in real life, but that's <laughs> cool. I'm glad I got the QSO with you. All right, so we got 23 contacts so far, and we're pretty much getting all the way out east. I'll overlay the map right here. The directions do say that there is some directivity to where the wire portion of this is heading. So right now the, the wire is heading east. So I'm gonna swap this out and I'm gonna point the wire west and see if that gets us any more out on the west coast. We did get one guy in California and we got uh, up to Canada as well. The map doesn't show that for some reason it uh, wasn't picking up their grid squares, but uh, I did get to Canada and I think it was in Los Angeles, California. So let's swap this out and see if we can point it that way. So after changing the direction of the antenna, got a couple more stations out west, two to be specific. Um, started getting a little more north 
uh, so a pipeline just kind of opened in Michigan and Ohio. I got 16 more contacts in about, I don't know, 25 minutes or so. Uh, the bands aren't doing great today, but uh, I would say in this one test, I'm not seeing too much directivity, but total of 51 contacts today. So uh, it's certainly getting out. It's very, very easy to put up to, so that's great. So what are my final thoughts? Well, uh, overall, I think this is an absolutely fantastic antenna. The ability to do 80 through six without any counterpoise wires, without any tuner uh, is just fantastic. Especially for me, I do a lot of just front porch portable radio and I don't have a very quick, easy to deploy antenna because of my lack of space. So for me, this is perfect. Um, build quality, absolutely fantastic. I mean, this thing is like welded shut. One thing I will say when you're taking this screw off, make sure you do this over the black bag that it comes in in case you drop this. There is a little washer in there that uh, I did have fall once uh, on me already and I've, fortunately I was able to find it. But he does include a couple extra screws, screws and washers in it. As we saw, it definitely gets out. The bands were kind of crummy these past couple days, so I haven't been able to make a lot of contacts, but I still got 51 contacts today. <laughs> Basically, uh, obviously way heavier leaning towards the eastern half of the country, but still got out to Colorado, a couple uh, California stations, all the way up to Canada. They, don't, they didn't show on the map for some reason, but uh, yeah, I mean, this, this is gonna fit a lot of needs for a lot of people. The only critique I would have, this, mallet this this ramrod thing uh, this is a very heavy solid piece of pipe but in the six or seven times that i've put up this antenna so far testing it you can see where the where all the paint is fading now this used to be flat and now as you hammer this down onto the rod the ground rod it started to conform to that shape so i would say definitely whatever's inside of here make a lot more beefy because, like I said, I've only been using this thing five, six, seven times maybe that I've used this and uh, it's already deforming quite a bit. So that could be a, a failure point. But uh, other than that, very, very solid bit of kit and I, I think it's gonna solve a lot of problems for a lot of folks. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you and we'll see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff, 73 guys.